New at 6.30, a hair-raising discovery from the University of Utah. Yeah, Utah geneticists with scientists in Pittsburgh believe that they have found the genes responsible for humans losing most of their body hair. And that made KSL's Peter Rosen wax poetic about the science. The hair we have upon our heads was once from head to toe. But when we left the jungle, the fur coat had to go. Other mammals gave up their hair. Dolphins and whales. Rhinos. Armadillos. Elephants. Naked mole rats. All wear less. Nathan Clark and others looked for the genes that left them hairless. Yeah, we were trying to find switches that control whether a hair follicle forms or not. They found sites within the genome, some unknown and some foreseen. And next we'll see what happens to mice by altering each gene. The point is not to flick a switch and grow back hair with ease. But I'm sure there are a, a couple companies out there that would love to have a patent on that. But to understand the science and someday cure disease. Uh, admittedly, you know, hair is not a big medical topic, but we could also learn where they're important in other structures like the eye or the liver or the gastrointestinal tra tract, any other place that might be important in health and disease. Someday treatments, someday cures. Clark hopes that's where they'll take it, thanks in part by deciphering what made the mole rat naked. Great story, Peter. For the study, the scientists compared the genetic codes of 62 mammals. Job well done, Peter. <laughs> Some of those pictures were disturbing, though, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that mole rat or whatever. <laughs>